In this short little video, I will show you how to clip video segments that are on your timeline and how to add titles so that we can create our five step instructional video. So I have a couple of short little videos here. I'm going to drag one down onto the timeline. Now I say it's a short video. It is a fairly short video, but if I scroll over, you can see the end of it. Now, if your video goes beyond your screen, you can adjust the size right here. You slide that over, you get more or less showing up. I think I've taken it the wrong way. I need to get bigger. There we go. So I can see the end of my video clip there. So what that does is simply change the timeline across the top of your timeline. It zooms in or zooms out on your timeline. So I'll watch my video here quickly. Puppy dog running in the backyard. Okay, so at that point right there when the dog comes back, what I would like to do is splice or slice this video. So I want to break it into two pieces. So I'm going to choose the scissors, which is called my razor tool. And I can bring it down and I can click anywhere along this clip and I can cut that clip into two pieces. So I click right there, I turn my scissor tool off and I now have separate clips. So I can watch the first clip again. The dog runs back. Oh, there's my dog barking upstairs. So that clip ends and then I can do whatever I want with this second clip. I can slide it around, put it on a different layer. I can drop it back into my project files window. So what I would like to do now is put a text title in front of this. So I'm going to move that one over and this is going to be step one of my instructions. So to insert a title, I'm going to go to my main menu and choose title. And there are a whole bunch of different styles of titles you can choose from. I'm going to keep it fairly simple here. So if I click on it, I choose the style I want. I can change the actual title. My puppy, step one. And I can give it a name if I want to save it. I'm not going to bother with that. So I'm going to leave this pretty straightforward here. If you want to change the color or the font or the background color, you can do all of that right here by clicking on these settings. So I'm going to choose save. And you'll notice then that my title shows up in here under my project files. So if I want to bring that title now down onto my clip, I can just bring it down in front of the actual clip with the puppy running. And if I want to make it longer or shorter, I can simply do that by dragging it out. Let's move that one over. Make that longer or shorter, drag that back. So now when I play, I'm going to get, well, I guess, about 20 seconds worth of my title, which is a bit more than I want. But as it plays through this, you're going to see it transition into clip number one. So this is where you could put step number one, tying my shoelaces, and then show me the video clip of step one. Then you actually see the clip. And then you can create another title, drop it in here, drop it down for step two, and continue on through that process. So when you're taking your original video for your instructions, you can do it all in one take if you want to, and then chop it up. Again, chop it up with your razor tool. And you can chop that into as many pieces as you want. And then of course, turn your razor tool off. Slide those pieces into position. Oh, that one's stuck for some reason. Okay, slide them into position and keep adding your text in between them. I don't know why that one's frozen in spot there. I'll have to figure that out. Okay, so we've added a couple more tricks. You're splicing or razor tooling your video clips to break them up and you're adding text for your title and you're adding text for your transitions between each clip, so each step. So I want to see five steps of instruction, and I would like to see five different titles, and then you'll produce that also. Okay, good luck with that.